Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at how we expand double brackets. So when we expanded single brackets, we draw ourselves a little grid. So when we're expanding double brackets, I'm going to draw another grid, but just slightly bigger. I've already done it here. So let's get cracking and see what we can do. So how we set this up is the first bracket here, which is x plus 3, I put the top here, and the second bracket I just put down the side. Now hopefully you can remember from when you're expanding single brackets, we are multiplying. So I need to multiply uh, everything here to fill in the grid. So x times x is x squared, x times 3 is 3x. Notice I put plus 3x there because it's positive, just helps us later on. And 2 times x is 2x again, plus 2x to show it's positive. And 2 times 3 is 6. The most common error people will do is they will add these. So please make sure you are multiplying when you are filling in the table. If it helps, you can put a little multiply sign up here, just as a reminder that you are multiplying to fill in the grid. Okay? Once you've uh, multiplied everything, you have a look and see what we can simplify. So I've got an x squared, a 3x, a 2x, and a 6. Now what I can simplify are these x's here. Okay, they're both an x, so I can simplify them. 3x plus 2x is 5x. I can't add the x squared and the x because the powers are different. Remember when we collect like terms, if the powers are different, they are not like terms, and therefore you cannot simplify them. So the only thing I can simplify here are the x's. So once you've simplified those, you can then write your answer out. So I have my x squared from there. I have my simplified 5x, and of course I have my number 6 there. And we're done. Simple as that. Same thing for this one. So it doesn't matter which one you put at the top. That one over here I put x plus 3 at the top, but I could equally put the second one, which I'm going to do this time just to show it doesn't matter. So x minus 5 and x plus 4. And again we are timesing. So x times x is x squared x times minus 5, minus 5x. This time I put my minus in there to show it's a negative. And 4 times x is 4x, positive 4x. And 4 times minus 5, so they are different signs. One's positive, one's negative, which means my answer will be negative. And 4 times 5 is 20. So again, I filled in my grid. And again, I'm going to simplify my x's. So minus 5x plus 4x will give me minus x. Some people put minus 1x, okay, which is fine. However, if we are to simplify this, we actually leave it as minus x. So make sure you leave it as minus x in your final answer. Talk about final answer, let's write that out. I have x squared, I have my minus x, and I have my minus 20. Okay, let's have a go at some more. So this example here is illustrating another point to be careful of. So again, we are multiplying one bracket at the top. Oops, sorry, that's a minus 7. And a minus 6. Okay, so again, we are multiplying. So a times a is a squared. a times minus 7, minus 7a. Seven Minus 6 times a is minus 6a. And this is the point to be careful of. Minus 6 times minus 7, so a minus times a minus. They are the same symbol. They are both minuses, which means your answer will be a positive. And 6 times 7, 42. Okay, so be very careful with that double negative when you are multiplying. Now we need to simplify these, and again, people struggle with the negatives, so if you're a bit unsure, or the best way to check an answer is just to draw a very quick number line, which I'm going to do now. So I'm just going to quickly draw one here. Like so, okay? And the first one here is where you're going to start at, so minus 7 is my starting point. And I'm then going to take away 6. So I'm at minus 7. I'm taking a number away. So I'm going to continue to go down my number line by 6. So I'm at here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
So I'm at minus 13. So this will be minus 13a. And don't forget to write out your final answer. This time I haven't got x's, I've got a, so a squared, my minus 13a, which I simplified, and my plus 42. This one here, this crops up a little bit. This crops up a little bit. And people always go, oh, it's c squared plus 1, because they just do c squared and 1 squared. That is completely wrong. When you square something, it means you times it by itself, which means I'm doing c plus 1 in one bracket times by itself, like so. In which case, we need our big grid. So what's c plus 1, c plus 1. And again, we are timesing. So c times c is c squared, c times 1 is just c, c times 1 is just c, 1 times 1 is 1. Again, I can simplify this. 1c plus another c is 2c's. So my final answer, c squared plus 2c, oops, plus 2c plus 1. Okay. Same thing here. It's squared, so it means I'm timesing it by itself. So y minus 4, y minus 4. Stick it in your grid to expand it. y times y, y squared. y times minus 4, minus 4y. Same thing over here, minus 4y. And again, we've got this double negative. They're both the same. Minus times a minus is a plus. 4 times 4 is 16. And again... I need to simplify this. There's some negatives, so again, you can draw your number line. I've already got one, you can use it. So minus 4y, so I'm starting at minus 4. I'm taking away another 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 8. So minus 8y. And again, you can write out your final answer. y squared minus 8y plus my 16. Super job. Okay, and last one, last example. Sometimes you get something a little bit more interesting, but it's exactly the same method. We still write the bracket, one bracket at the top, one bracket at the bottom, or on the side, sorry, and we still times. Yeah, we have times in there as well. So 4 times 3 is 12, x times x, x squared. 2 times 4x be 8x. 3x times minus 5 is minus 15x. And in minus 5 times 2, well, they're different signs. One's negative, one's a positive, which gives me a negative answer of my, or minus 10. I can then simplify these. OK, so I'm going to have 8, positive 8, take away 15. That's going to give me minus 7 x. And again, you can draw a number line, but my number line doesn't quite go high enough, but obviously you can do one yourself. Don't forget to write out your answer. 12x squared minus 7x minus 10. So hopefully that'll help you in your tests or revision or homeworks. Thanks for watching.